Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we're going in for our second path in 8.2.2. This is the team we're going, we're going to go on this bottom path over here, and we're going to hit these champs right here. Kingpin, Luke Cage, Night Thrasher, Cap, Jabari, and Burger 40. And so as far as the notes go, it's got Relentless Mutation, so we get um, a Indefinite Fury every time we get a regen. Up to five, heal or hide. Um, we can use this to get those furies. We're far away, we get the regen. Um, close, the defender gets the regen. They get a regen. They'll be fully unblockable. And they got enhanced abilities and then strike back. So, we brought this mutant team plus a guardian on the team. The guardian, we're planning on the, using that as the boss. And we're going to go up here. First, we're going to use a talk to get our genetic code. Um, he should do fine here. Um, he's rank 3. He doesn't have a regen. At least my unawakened one for a fight that he hasn't taken. Um, it, would be, it would be nice if I could get this guy awakened. Um, but we're just going to smash this guy out. we got to be mindful of the unblockable if... We happen to be close when that regen comes off. We can easily be away from it, just like so. And we're gonna get a fury. And we're just gonna kinda go special two, special one is the plan. We're gonna back off and get this regen as well. Get the fury that goes with it. And there we go. And yeah, we're just gonna smash, smash, smash. Get the region. Alright. I forget and I did forget that Night Thrasher on the knockdowns can purify the debuffs. It's not I don't think it's always, but it, you can. And again, this has strike back, so you do have to be mindful that if you're gonna throw a special, make sure it's well under two bars because you're going to give them some bars of power on the special. You don't want to push the special three by accident. Okay, so we got the max furies. We're going to go for. Let's go for the special one again. He's probably gonna get the regen on this. Hmm. He think he would have, but uh, he's dead. So, nope. All right. So first fight down. Very nice. All right. So then we have um, we got these two. Uh, this Luke Cage. So um, I'm going to put the Horseman on this one, and I'm gonna take in. Bishop. So Bishop actually has regen that he can get from just holding the block. So we can get those Furies real quick without having to do anything that's regarding the um, healer hide node. And just get those regens. And I got the max um, Furies. So again, we want to make sure that he's well under two bars of power. And all right, so we're probably gonna hit the indestructible, let that wear out, and then get another parry in and light him up here. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, that's some good, that's some good damage right there. That's some real good damage. Um, Bishop is is incredible, to be honest. He is incredible. And that incinerate was doing 7k tick. Yeah, that was... Here, we'll start this. We'll end with two bars, which is beautiful. And go on to Kingpin. In Kingpin, we're also going to use Bishop. We can get the 
get these shrugs off the stun. We'll, we'll get a passive stun. We'll get those furies quick. Um, yeah, he's just he's just really good. That's all there is to it. And then, as far as the specials on this guy, I want to make sure that he has pretty much zero bars. Because we're going to give him a bar, and I don't want to really push him to two. And look at that, okay. Shrug them off, that's okay. We're going to wait for this regen to come to us. And then we're going to build a special two and knock him out. Should, should do it. Two probably would kill. Mm. We got it. Dancing. Yeah, not probably. It did. And we're at 100% still. <laughs> Alright, so Bishop is cleaning house. And we're gonna go down, I think, to this cat. Caps, the same path, same set of nodes. Um, we're gonna use we're gonna use Bishop again here, and then um, I think we'll use White Mags on the next one. so easily too from our mistakes looks like we didn't get crits ooh that was super close to I was just like a tick away from pushing the special 3 but he's gonna melt out and there we go we're still at 100% Bishop is steamrolling this line. Um, I'm sure he could do Jabari here too. Um, Bishop is a hero. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just throw on the white mags. We'll just use Bishop. We'll just keep using Bishop. Bishop's got easy access to prowess. I do like white mags on Jabari just because He's bleed immune, and he has also easy access to um, prowess. But um, this should work fine. She won't be able to purify those passive stones. Back off, get that regen. Actually, we're gonna hold block and get the regen ourselves. Alright, now that she's got that uh, cleanse off, we're going to throw that so the <laughs> incinerate sticks. And look at that, one, one special two. <laughs> one special two was all it took. 38 seconds. <laughs> Gotta love this dude. Alright, so for this one, she's not incinerate immune. Bishop could definitely work. I'm just going to throw in Cable, just because why not. Um, and... Uh, Cable, we can get some regens from getting to one or two or three bars of power as well. Um, we're just gonna degen, degen her out and try to be far away when this uh, healer hide regen comes up. So we're gonna back off. There we go. So then our degens will take a little bit harder. We did get a regen on the special one crossing. We don't even have to throw any specials on her. We, we may. We may. Alright, she's unblockable. That's okay. 
easily can wait it out. Alright, I'm gonna throw the special two here. I've got the concussion. Oof. So much power. So much power. Alright, back off. Give me the regen. And give you the degens. And there we go. There we go. Alright, path is done. Bishop is a beast. Cable is not too shabby himself. And then we're going to come up here and we're gonna drop, I think we're gonna drop, um, Cable, probably. Yeah, we're gonna drop Cable. And we're gonna swap in Nimrod as a backup. And we are going to use white mags on this to put a guidance and then we're going to use um, yeah we're going to use guardian the game knew the game knew that I wanted to use guardian over Nimrod so this one has be like water whenever it's a non-damaging debuff they're going to gain an unblockable um, evasive maneuver if they're knocked down then they get like a 100% chance to evade but it's got, uh, where is it? Whenever the defender is suffering from a shock or an incinerate, they also suffer 200% reduction on their evade. So we're going to have a incinerate up the entire fight, like after two or three seconds after it starts. So Domino can never evade the whole entire fight, which is awesome. And we won't get the disorients because she's never going to evade. And shock vulnerability, we're going to get that the whole entire fight. And yeah, it's just gonna it's just gonna be good times. And then we just have um, Nimrod for backup in case I just totally screw up. And what sig is this? Two hundred? Yeah. And Guardian, my Guardian's max sig, so the critical failed damage if and whenever she gets it. So there we go. For the whole fight, we're going to get this 509 shock going the whole entire fight. So I'm not going to throw a special one. I'm just going to go to special um, special three. And the reason why I'm not going to do special ones is when I want to get them permanent. Permanent uh, force field charges. I need her to throw a special. be nice. have parried those but I have not really practiced parrying her special two. And she can't evade even though she's lucky she can't evade. She can't ever evade. Alright we're gonna throw this we're gonna get an extra shock on her. And I don't know how many force field charges are going to be needed. I think I'll just go maybe once more. And it actually, I mean, it could, it could be enough. It could be enough, especially with the shock vulnerability. What do you think? Should I just go for it? Here, we're gonna let this. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna go for it. Oh snap! Okay, let's go. Okay, don't drop your block and get whacked. But one special three was plenty with the shock damage that was going on the whole time. So we had 10, 10 force wheels charges. It's not how you wanted to end the fight, but uh, it's still solo. Still, it's 
still done without having to use any items or anything like that. But hopefully this gives you a few ideas on how you can do your path. The Guardian, the White Mags is by far I think the simplest option. Nimrod is also great. You will have to deal with unblockables and whatnot. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.